Hi, it's Katrina. From large footprints in the jungle to glowing red eyes in no man's land, here are nine of the most mysterious monster sightings. Number 9. The Morbach Monster In Germany, there is a town called Wittlich that has a legend about a bad soldier who turned into a wolf beast during the days of Napoleon. This soldier who had deserted was running away and came upon this small town. So far, it doesn't sound so bad. You could argue that maybe the soldier was drafted and he didn't want to fight with Napoleon. But he got into some kind of altercation and ended up killing a farmer and his wife. The wife cursed the soldier just before dying, and the curse turned him into a wolf-like creature, one that stalked the forests of the area until the villagers came together to kill the beast. Fast forward to modern times, and U.S. servicemen at the Han Air Base, which is near the forest next to Wittlich, claim to have seen a wolf-like creature that stood on two legs. One report was that a military policeman was checking out a disturbance at the edge of the base when he came face to face with the creature. The creature then did three long leaping steps before bounding over a fence that was at least five feet tall. Adding to the mystery, a sniffer dog was brought in to track the mystery beast, but once it got its scent, it went crazy and absolutely refused to go after it. More stories about the Morbach monster have been collected over the years, and all of the descriptions seem to match. Since no one has caught the creature and there is no solid evidence, the truth is still a mystery. Number 8. The Flatwoods Monster On September 12, 1952, an odd event happened in West Virginia that is still unexplained to this day. On that day, a fireball was seen in the sky. But unlike regular meteors and comets and such, this fireball was actually seen all across the United States. The interesting thing is that the fireball was confirmed all the way from California up to where it landed in West Virginia. Edward and Fred May, who were in West Virginia, saw the fireball and then realized that it was crashing on a nearby farm. Along with their friend, their mother, and a neighbor, they went to go and observe the crash site. When they arrived, the area was covered in an odd mist, and a metallic sound of sorts was filling the air. As they tried to get closer to figure out what was going on, they noticed a pair of red eyes looking at them through the mist. According to their accounts, the creature that was looking at them was about 10 feet tall and had a glowing green body. The creature hissed at them and then started to approach, and all of them ran. Police and other people from the town explored the area but found nothing. Yet a reporter found some odd skid marks near where the crash was and also found an odd gooey deposit. This mystery is a bit more unique as you have people of various ages admitting to having seen this creature. But the creature, of course, was never found. So was it real? And if it wasn't, what did the five people really see? And now for number seven. But first, do you have any other unexplained monster sightings you'd like to share? Let me know in the comments below. And if you are new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe before you leave. We have lots of new videos coming up. Number seven. The Hounds of Mons In World War I, trench warfare was the dominant form of combat, which created no man's land all across several countries in Europe. In one such no man's land in Mons, there was a mysterious story. A Canadian captain, A.J. Newhouse, claimed that within the no man's land of Mons was a beast. He believed this because one day a patrol was sent into no man's land and they never returned. When their bodies were found, they had teeth marks on their throats. Since that point, any and all patrols that were sent into no man's land at Mons were met with the same fate, and people did claim to see pairs of eyes, eyes of a beast within the no man's land, and howls were heard from deep in the trenches. This went on until the beast suddenly vanished. So what was it? Or did it ever exist at all? Research into the story seems to indicate that Newhouse made the whole thing up. But if he did, why? What if the enemy used trained dogs? Or maybe there were wolves in the area? By now, too many years have gone by to tell what the Hounds of Mons might really have been. Number 6. The Konga Moto In 1932, a traveler by the name of Frank Melland was doing research for a book that he would title Witchbound Africa. In this book, he noted that he spoke to tribes in West Africa that described being attacked by a lizard-like bird with large membrane wings that resembled a bat. Very unlike anything that is technically in the world today that we know of, Unless you count the very recent sightings of La Gargola de la Barceloneta in Puerto Rico. There's all kinds of creatures over there. Anywho, seeing a resemblance of a description to a pterodactyl, Melon showed them a picture of one and they all reacted and said it was just like the creature they saw, except they called it the Congamoto, which roughly means breaker of boats. 
In Zambia in 1957, a patient was brought into Fort Rosebury and noted that he was attacked by a large bird bat creature and that it was near a swamp that happened to be nearby. Ironically, that swamp was a bird watching spot, and yet no sightings of the Kongamoto were ever reported from there outside of the tribe. Still, the tribe claimed that the Kongamoto is real and that they've been attacked by it several times. So if it is real, why haven't people seen it since the 30s? Especially if it was as big as the reports claim. No one knows, but speculation is that it could either be a case of misidentification or that the creature died out not long after 1932. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Number 5. The U-28 Crocodile During World War I, there was a British steamer known as the Iberian. It was going through the waters next to Ireland when it came under attack by a U-28 German submarine. A battle commenced, and despite the Iberian fleeing with all she had, the submarine won in the end. But that's just the beginning of the story, not the end. You see, the captain of the submarine, Baron von Forstner, went to the viewfinder to watch the Iberian sink. When he did, he caught a glimpse of something that he couldn't explain. Soon after the Iberian fully sank, there was an explosion. It was likely the Iberian's internals giving out and causing the blast. But whatever caused it, Forstner claimed that he saw a massive sea crocodile thrown into the air. So certain was he of this that he wrote an article about it in a German newspaper in 1933 and said the following. The animal was about 20 meters long and crocodile-like in shape, with pairs of strong front and hind legs adapted for swimming, and a long head that tapered towards the nose. He claimed to have seen it for 10 to 15 seconds at a distance of about 150 to 100 meters, in bright sunshine. Now, unlike many monster sightings, Forstner was very specific. He gave measurements, noted that it was bright outside, gave key details about the monster's shape, and more. Not to mention, he had just gotten glory in a battle. There's no point in talking about a monster unless it was really there. Further adding to the mystery is that six other crew members claim to have seen the creature, and certain credible scientists believe he honestly did see it. And one zoologist, Bernard Hevelmans, felt the description matched up with a prehistoric giant crocodile that could possibly still be living today. It was called the Thalatosuchia. Everyone keep an eye out! The mystery remains. Did Forstner really see it? And if so, has this massive crocodile ever been seen again? Number 4. Little Bigfoot John McKinnon was a famous British zoologist, one who helped discover many new creatures in Vietnam. He also wrote a book in 1974 that stated he found something he didn't want to know the answer to. He describes a disturbing footprint in the earth. He said it was a print so like a man's, yet so definitely not a man's, that it made his skin crawl. The sole was too short and too broad to be that of a man, and the big toe was on the opposite side to what seemed to be the arch of the foot. His guide at the time told him that the footprint belonged to the people of the forest, called Batatut. McKinnon, though, knew something was off and decided not to investigate further, but his book helped spawn the legend of Little Bigfoot. Ironically enough, this wasn't the only sighting within the region of Southeast Asia. Another book, Strange But True Stories of the Vietnam War, stated that six soldiers from the 101st Airborne were deep in the jungles of Vietnam when they saw a five-foot-tall bipedal creature covered in red fur. They originally thought it was an orangutan, but there aren't any in Vietnam. So what is Little Bigfoot? Were the two sightings the same creature? And are there more than just one out there? Number 3. The Brosno Dragon In Russia, there are people who are convinced that a creature lives in the waters of Lake Brosno. The legend goes like this. A group of Tatar horsemen, a people who numbered as much as 5 million in the late 20th century and lived in west-central Russia, were on their way to Novgorod. However, on their way, they stopped at the Brosno Lake to rest. While they did, a reptilian monster rushed out of the water and attacked them, killing many and forcing the others to flee. There's also a story about the creature living in the lake actually swallowing a German plane whole from World War II. These stories got the attention of a group of UFO hunters, who thought they had detected something in the water after examining it. But when they did tests to see what would come up, nothing did. Though various explanations for the Brosno dragon have been given over the years, few explain what happened to the Tatar horsemen or to that German pilot. Number 2. The Kraken one of the most legendary monster sightings of all time has to be the one and only Kraken, a squid of such size that it would dwarf and consume massive vessels. But despite this story being born during the time of sailboats, there have been many modern-day accounts of the Kraken, including some from World War II. 
A British trawler was docked off the Maldives. A crewman, A.G. Starkey, was on deck of the trawler when he thought he saw something in the water. His account states that as he gazed, a circle of green light began to glow and he realized that it was an eye. Gradually, he also realized that he was gazing almost point blank at a huge squid. But the story didn't end there. After seeing the eye of the squid, he walked from one end of the ship to the next and he found that the tentacles reached to the other end, making this kraken about 175 feet long. No one else on the trawler saw the squid, but there are many whales that have appeared with gigantic suction marks on them. Could the kraken really exist? Number 1. The Mist A monster does not need a corporal form to be frightening, as the crew of a C-130 cargo plane found out in the Vietnam War. For Robert L. Pollock, along with his crew, saw something that they truly couldn't explain. It all started when Pollock saw a disturbance in the back of the plane. He said he noticed movement at the rear of the empty cargo compartment. He was stunned to see a whirling gray, cloudy mass forming at the rear door. The mass was whirling clockwise and it completely filled the entire rear of the aircraft within seconds. Believing it was a technical issue, he searched the plane for a malfunction, but didn't find one. He then brought in the rest of the crew to see it for themselves, and when they did, the mist seemed to come towards them. Pollock punched the cloud and his hand vanished from sight. He and his crewmen then stepped into the mist and they couldn't see anything, not even each other. It's not quite a Stephen King novel, but it's close. Then as quickly as it came, it was gone, but it left in a complete reversal of how it came on board. The crew agreed not to talk about this for a while because they figured that no one would believe them. Do you? Thanks for watching! What did you think of these mysterious monster sightings? Do you think any of them are real? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time! Bye!